Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside the Hem. Today we're diving into something super exciting and incredibly useful, figuring out your body type. But first, do you remember when I sewed my first bra earlier this year? Well, that has got me dreaming of making my own swimwear this summer. Enter the sponsor of today's video, Craftsy. They offer thousands of classes with step-by-step -step instructions in more than 20 categories like knitting, cooking, sewing, painting, and so many more, all packed with expert tips and tricks. So I knew they would have a swimwear course for me to try, which they did. Industry experts teach all of their classes, so I know I'll be in good hands. The swimsuit class is taught by Beverly Johnson, who also has classes on shapewear and undies, which are also on my learn to sew list. Craftsy is always creating new classes to help you stay inspired. You can even connect with fellow makers to ask questions and share ideas. If you want to join and learn something new, I have a Cersei for you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a full year of premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. Head there and check out the class library. Let me know which one you end up taking first. Okay, back to today's video. Understanding your body type can be a game changer when it comes to fashion, sewing, and finding clothes that make you feel fabulous. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your measurements and use them to identify whether you're an apple, a pear, inverted triangle, square, or hourglass shape. So grab a piece of tracing paper, your measuring tape, and let's get started on discovering your unique body shape. Ready? Let's do this. All right, so the first step is gonna be to take your measurements. Obviously, I have a lot of clothes on today, um, but if I were doing this, like for real, I would have very little clothes on, maybe a sports bra and some little shorts on so that we can get as close to our body measurement accuracy as possible but you're gonna take your tape measure, you're gonna place it perpendicular, I'm sorry, parallel to the floor. You see how that's completely straight? You're gonna wrap it around your body and we're doing a pretty decent amount of, like there, we can't really fit, barely, a finger in here is pretty tight. That's how tight we want it. And this should be over your bust apex. And you can see that mine is hitting at 40 inches. So that's your, your bust. And then your waist, this is another one that people get wrong a lot. A lot of people think their waist is down here by their belly button, and it's not. It's actually the smallest part of your body. So if you're to tip over like a teacup, where your body naturally falls in on itself, that is your waist. It's not way down here, it's closer to up here. And also, the more plus size you are, the higher up it'll be. It might be very, very close to your bust line, but that's your waist, That's just it's just a fact. That's where it is. You can make clothes, you can alter the clothes to fit different places on your torso, but your waist is your waist, okay? So again, parallel to the floor, we want it sitting in that little teacup area, and we're gonna come down and I'm measuring 36 inches. That's your waist. And then your hip is gonna be the fullest part of your bum, so it's not your hip bones, it's actually way down. Like, if you look sideways in a mirror, it should be like where your butt protrudes, that's your hip. If you have a flatter bum, then it's just the midpoint of that. It's not at your hip bones though, ever. That's not your your hip measurement line. Okay, and mine is coming to 47 and a half. Okay, so you've got those three measurements. Write all those down. And to help with scales, we don't have to get this huge piece of paper out and and you know, waste it. We're gonna divide everything by 10. So we're gonna have tenths of everything. So my 40 inch bust is now gonna be four inches. So do all those calculations and then meet me over here and I'll show you how to plot your body shape. Okay, so you can see I've got my bust, waist and hip here. And now I'm going to divide all of these by 10. So that equals four divided by 10 equals 3.6 and divided by 10 equals 4.75. Okay, yay for math. All right, so now we're gonna turn this and we're gonna create a center line for our body. This doesn't have to be directly in the middle of the page, just giving you enough room on either side. So this is gonna be my center, the center of my body. And my bust is four inches. So I'm gonna start toward the top and I'm gonna draw a dot at four inches to the left and a dot at four inches to the right and connect those dots. Now we're gonna come down to our hip line 
and I'm gonna go 3.6 inches out, one, two, three and a half, 0.6 is somewhere around here, and then one, two, three and a half, 0.6 is somewhere over here. Not gonna connect those lines. And then we're gonna come down to what would be our hip and we're gonna do 4.75. So that would be one, two, three, four point seven five is way over here. One, two, three, four point seven five is way over here. Okay, and we're gonna draw a line through here. All right, now we're gonna connect bust to waist, waist to hip on each side. Okay, and that's what mine looks like. Now, there are some rules, once you get yours drawn out, there are some rules to help you determine what shape this actually is. If you were an hourglass, your bust and your hip would be a lot closer in size. So this would kick out a lot more. This would be hourglass, okay? I am a pear. Pear is where your bust is wider than your hip, than your waist, but then your hip is wider than both of those, all right? If I were an apple, apple would kick this out a whole lot more. It's your shoulders are narrow, your hips are narrow, and your waist is wider, okay? We also have square. Square would be somewhere in here where your bust, waist, and hip are all relatively the same width. And then we have inverted triangle, which would be the almost the opposite of this. It would be if your bust was way out here, so inverted triangle, your waist comes in and then your hip would come in somewhere around here. This would be inverted triangle. Imagine it being upside down like that. And I think that's all five of them. So um, once you get this kind of drawn out, you can use these rules to determine, okay, as I'm looking at this, maybe it doesn't look exactly like an hourglass, <laughs> but you can, you can use the rules to determine, okay, my bust is narrow, my waist is narrower, and my hip is wider than both of those. So that makes me a pair. And there you have it, folks. Now you know how to take your measurements and identify your body type. Understanding your body shape is a fantastic step towards finding sewing patterns that make you feel and look amazing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to Inside the Hem for more sewing tips, tricks, and tutorials. Got any questions or want to share your body type journey? Drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!